Hello, I'm Dr. Julie Brown, and today we are going to talk about generic epinephrine auto-injectors. These are the three generics that are available currently in the United States. These two are generics for the Myelin EpiPen, and this one is a generic for Adrenoclick, even though Adrenoclick is no longer available. These two, the Myelin generic for EpiPen and the Amnial lineage generic for Adrenoclick both have a case, whereas the Teva generic for EpiPen um, does not. It has kind of an all-inclusive unit. So we're going to take these two that have cases out of their cases so that you can see the active component of the devices. There. And one other thing that is a notable difference between these devices is that the Myelin generic and the Teva generic for EpiPen both come with a trainer, but the Amnial lineage generic for Adrenoclick does not come with a trainer in the pack that you will get from the pharmacy, although you can request a trainer um, then the, from the company and they will send it to you free and it comes actually in a nice little case of its own. Um, so I really encourage you to do that because it's very important to have a trainer and to get comfortable um, using your device. So we're going to begin by looking at these two um, devices that are generics for the EpiPen. And uh, you can see, first of all, that the um, Myelin generic is extremely similar to the Myelin EpiPen. In fact, the only notable difference is that EpiPen has EpiPen written across the label, whereas the generic does not. They are, in fact, identical in every other way. The device underneath the label is identical. The instructions for use are identical. The Teva generic for EpiPen has a number of differences. Notably, there are two caps to remove. So here, once you've taken it out of the case, there is just one cap to remove at the back and then the device is ready to fire. Here, you don't have a case, but you do have two caps to remove. And I'm going to go through the process of using each of these with a trainer to kind of highlight that a little bit further. So here we have a Myelin generic in the case. We're going to take it out of the case. And then we have it here uh, with the cap on. We're going to take the cap off and we're going to go ahead and fire it. And I have a little bit of foam here to fire it into. We hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. And then we withdraw it. And there you have it with the Teva generic. We don't have a case to take it out of. We have these two caps. We're going to twist the lower cap off first and then to take the upper cap off you, you do it on the sort of shorter end on the back side and you flip that cap forward to take it off and then we're going to again hold it for three seconds. One, two, three and there we go. Finally we have our um, Amnial Lineage product. We're going to again look at its generic. So again, we're going to start from it in the case. We're going to take it out of the case. It has two caps. It doesn't matter which order you take the caps off. You take them off in any order. And then this product you have to hold for 10 seconds. So we're going to fire it. It doesn't have quite as satisfying a click, although it's a little better with the real device than it is with the trainer. We're holding it for 10 seconds. And then when we remove it, when it's the real device, um, you're going to see an exposed needle there. So for safety, we're going to put that back in the case so that we don't put ourselves at risk of a needle stick injury. 
And there we go. We have used all three of those devices. The most important thing here is that you are comfortable using the device you've chosen. All three of these devices have the same needle length. All three of these devices deliver the same dose of epinephrine. They all work perfectly fine, but you have to know how to use them. Anybody who might be using this device has to know how to use them. If you are obtaining these devices for your child, make sure their teacher, their preschool worker, uh, the person who picks them up from school, um, the grandparents that they might stay with, Everybody who is potentially going to be caring for them needs to know how to use the device they are using. They are not exactly comparable to each other as you've seen and you wouldn't want someone to be trying to figure out how to use a device at the time that you need it. So practice often. Practice with your expired devices firing them off into a grapefruit. Practice with your trainers and make sure you are very comfortable um, so that you are not afraid to use these devices um, if need be. Be safe, be well, and thank you for listening.